Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top complimented body mist. For whatever reason, these body mists in particular always get me a, oh girl, what you wearing when I wear them out in the street. So I had to let y'all know what they were. So if you're interested in seeing what my top complimented body mists are, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Oshumari. It is so nice to meet you. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so y'all know I love telling y'all what I'm getting compliments on, especially because in the comments, you guys always say y'all don't really get that many compliments when it comes to your body mist in particular. And the first one that I get a compliment on all the time is a oldie but a goodie, and this is champagne toast, you guys. And I believe this is like the newer packaging, but they did come out with like one for like the Christmas holiday. And you guys, this is just your oh, very pretty, bright like slightly tangy type of body mist and it's also another one that my husband loves when I wear so in this one you have notes of bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine and you literally do get all of that up in here it's a very like girly feminine bright pretty girl type of scent that just hits every single time you guys and this one in particular I don't know if you guys saw my layering video that I did with this but I love layering this one with Delina La Rose because Delina La Rose has like that bubbly sparkliness to it as well but you can layer this one with the original Delina any of your rose scents any of your scents that need like some type of like bubbliness or like sparkliness to it this will go really well with but usually when I get the most compliments on it is when I'm just wearing it by itself you guys and this one like i said has been out for years but it doesn't matter when i break it out somebody always tells me that they think i smell so good so if you've never checked it out they always have this one available they do have a really cute packaging for like the holiday season right now so maybe you want to grab that one but this is like the i believe this is like the faceted collection Ugh, and it is really pretty and this would be like a perfect one for like going into like New Year's Eve or like any type of parties that you have because it also lasts a very long time and it has a really nice projection to it as well. So she is a classic and she is also a really big compliment getter. So check it on out if you're looking for some compliments or you wanna just smell bright and bubbly and really pretty. Once again, this is Champagne Toast. Staying along those same like sparkly type of vibes, we have Cactus Blossom, you guys. And y'all, so I never actually had like a full size bottle in this one I've always had the minis but I've had like a ton of the minis but this year I decided to just go ahead and get a big size because it's another one that whenever I wear it somebody asks me what I'm wearing it's another one that's like very like upbeat very feminine girly like a little flirtatious and very zesty so in this one you have notes of cactus sunflower petals sun-kissed coconut and fresh sparkling lemon oh okay so that's where that like lemon zestiness comes from i love that touch of the coconut in here and it is like a florally sparkly fragrance and i think florals mixed with like sparkly notes is just all the way around it's like people really like those type of combinations it's not too complex but at the same time it's not like super boring and it's just got this like upbeatness to it that i don't know makes people just very curious to know what you're wearing but yeah you guys whenever i wear it people are like wow that you smell really nice it's also got this like very fresh like kind of like clean type of essence about it so if you haven't checked it out it's another one that's always available next up is one that i feel like i always talk about in some way shape or form in every single season <laughs> this is one by sol de janeiro and this is Charosa 68 you guys and as you see i love the juice of this one mm -hmm. it's so pretty and sweet and kind of has like this like airiness about it it's really really nice i have like backups on backups of this one so in this one you have notes of pink grapefruit lychee essence brazilian jasmine ocean air hibiscus sweet vanilla and sun musk mm -hmm. oh yeah y'all i wore the cream to this last night layered with something and it was so pretty so the lychee in here it gives it this like like kind of like a tartness to it and 
If you smell Baccarat Rouge 540 Cloud by Ariana Grande, this has that same DNA in there. So it's kind of got like this like burnt sugariness to it, which is like such a crowd pleaser that so many people love. So it's to no surprise that people really do love this one when I wear it. And I'll never forget the story with this one. So I was going to get my nails done. I was sitting in the chair and one of the nail technicians that worked at the salon kept walking back and forth. And eventually she like stops and she comes over and says, hi, ask me how I'm doing. Cause I've seen her multiple times. And she's like, oh, what are you wearing? I keep getting whiffs of it. That's why I keep on walking past you. And I was trying to like not be weird by asking you what you're wearing. And of course I told her that it was this. And she said she had seen it in like Sephora a couple times, but now that she smelled it on me and it smelled so nice, she was gonna go get it. But you guys, this one in particular is the one that always gets me a compliment. And I love all also wearing this one to bed and whenever I wear this one too my husband is like oh you smell really nice so if you've never checked this one out um, especially while they have the sale going on at Sephora I would say check this one out get you a 20% off or 15 or 10% off discount because it really is worth it so once again this is Charosa 68 by Sol de Janeiro next up y'all is one that I absolutely love I got this one back in like 2014 and back then when I was like single I was like dating and whatnot I would always wear this one when I went out on dates or just like would like top it off with like whatever fragrance I was wearing. But I haven't seen them bring it back. I think they may have brought it back in some type of like repackages, but y'all, this one was so good. This one is from Bath and Body Works and this is called Hello Sunshine. And y'all see, I've been like babysitting this one because I have yet to see them bring this one back. And it's like, oh y'all, it smells like the sun and summertime and just having a good old time. They don't have the notes on this one, but this one just smells like, and I remember, I think I looked it up. There's like tangerine in here. You have pear in here. Oh, you guys, why didn't they bring this one back? If they brought this one back and you guys know, let me know, but y'all, whenever I wore this, I got compliments like and, and I was complimenting myself I don't even need a compliment it puts you in mind of like being on like an island and like having some really good like tropical type of drink and you're like sitting out like in a cabana and like you're like looking at the ocean and like the sun is just beaming down on you kind of like the picture that's on here you guys I would say be on the lookout for this one if you like randomly see it don't just walk past it please pick it up Fiji Sun I feel like is kind of similar to this but I still feel like this one is the best rendition you guys and it was like such a loved body mist which is why i can't bear to part with it until i get another one so yeah y'all once again this is hello sunshine it was such a hit so this next one is one that i've told y'all i get a ton of compliments on and the perfume that this one reminds me of like i get more compliments on this one than the actual perfume itself <laughs> this one is another one by bath and body works and this is sweet whiskey and this one smells oh Oh my gosh, amazing. But it smells just like Milk by Commodity, the expressive version. Mm -hmm. So it's got this like lactonic, creamy vanilla essence to it that makes people be like, wow, like what is that? Like anytime I wore this to like any like holiday parties last year, people were like having me write this down. And when I would tell them it was like from Bath and Body Works, they were like, really girl? I'm like, yes. So in Sweet Whiskey, you have notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. And I love that like infused sweet whiskiness in here along with the berries. And the vanilla, oh, you guys, this one is such a good one to wear just by itself, period. And the amber note in here adds this like, like warm, grown undertoneness to it. You guys, this is really, really pretty. And I enjoy this one so much when I wear it, but you do kind of have to be in a mood for like attention because people are gonna wanna know what you're wearing when you have this one on, I'm telling you. It's like, it's like a compliment magnet. It's also warm and very inviting. So if you have yet to pick this one up, I would say pick this one up. Once again, this is Sweet Whiskey. And along those same like kind of cozy, like very soothing type of vibes is Pastel Skies from Bath and Body Works. You guys, I love this one. And I was like mixing this one with um, Kaylee's Young Pistachio in the summertime. And that combination was so gorgeous together. So the notes in this one is soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. And even though it's got that coconut in here, because it's coconut musk, this is not just a fragrance you can just wear in like the spring and the summer. I'm wearing this one right now and it is just so relaxing. It's sugary. Oh, that spun sugar in here is so pretty and people really do love this one. I have like a couple backups of this one and I may give this one away if they bring it out. I'm gonna have to grab a couple of these for like the ladies in my life because this one's just really pretty. It's not doing too much and it actually really does last a long time on my skin. And it's just cozy. And because this one's so calming and cozy, I also do like to wear this one to bed as well. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. And women and men seem to really enjoy this one. So once again, this one is Pastel Skies. This next one is one that I've told you guys time and time again that I love wearing out. Maybe if I'm like going to grab a bite to eat with my husband or with my girls, mainly like when I go out with my ladies to like maybe just like have a girls night or like maybe we're just getting like some late night coffee to like have some girl chat. This one is such a hit every single time, but it's more so like a going out type of body mist. And this is Into the Night, y'all. This is a sexy body mist. Mm -hmm. The musk in here, that jasmine in here, all the notes in here combined are just a show stopper and people always want to know what I'm wearing when I have this one on. So this one has notes of raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvet rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha moss, y'all. And doesn't it look like this bottle is kind of giving all those like stunting on your type of vibes? I feel like it is. Listen, I feel like every woman has to have this in their collection. If you don't have this one, if you're not a body mist girl, just get you some into the night because this one really does perform just like a perfume. And it has like that same like Coco Mademoiselle and like black opiumness to it. You guys, very very gorgeous, very like upscale, very grown, and definitely makes you stand out when you are wearing this one out. So please check it out if you want you some compliments or you just want to smell good for yourself. Into the Night is such a good one. Okay, y'all, so this next one, I tried to not put it on the list because I talk about it all the time, but I'm like, how am I going to make a top complimented body mist list and not have this one on there? Because this, this is really one of my tops. <laughs> this is probably one of everybody's tops, but this is in the stars you guys this one is so luxe oh and it's giving like all kinds of bourgeoisness and this one has notes of star flower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agar wood and radiant amber you guys oh and it's really really pretty this is a beast mode fragrance i think i have this one in my beast mode fragrances if i didn't i should have because this one lasts forever on your skin and it's another just gorgeous compliment getter. Mm -hmm. Whenever I spray it too, I get that type of reaction. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's another like just feel good, make you happy type of scent. And apparently it makes other people feel happy too because they always wanna know what I'm wearing when I have this one on. And people are always like really, really nice to me when I wear this one as well. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like it just kind of has this like feel good, good times vibes this in it it's such a gorgeous grown feminine upbeat like sparkliness to it that is like not juvenile at all that's not what i mean by sparkly it's just a very like upbeat fragrance so if you haven't checked it out please check it out you guys it's one of my favorites from bath and body works and once again this is in the stars now this next one i don't really wear it that much if i'm keeping it real it kind of had to grow on me because it wasn't like my favorite or like one i would even think about grabbing but without a doubt y'all whenever i do wear this one people think i have a perfume on and people want to know what i'm wearing so i'm like dang like maybe i should wear it more but because you know i have so many other things that i gravitate towards i just i really don't give this one that much attention but it's a good one. And this is You're the One from Bath and Body Works. And this is a super strong, very, oh yeah. Oh, but it's pretty. Very perfumey fragrance that smells just like Edol. If you did not know that, I included that in one of my body mist that smells like high-end perfumes. I'll link it down below just in case you guys want to watch that one. But this one is very like grown and like mature smelling so if you more so gravitate towards like very fruity kind of light fragrances then this one might be doing a little too much for you 
but being that I am grown grown, I love it. This one has notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of a strawberry nectar, y'all. That drop, like just a drop, always gets me every time. So yeah, this is one that like, I can't really see, so I'm in my 30s. I can't really see someone that's like, a teenager wearing this one. I mean, the teen listen, if you a teenager and you starting on them like this, then go ahead, girl. But I don't really know if I would have worn something like this when I was like in my teens. I feel like this is more so like something for someone that's like at least in like they like mid 20s. However, that's just my opinion. Like that's just my take on it. It just gives me those type of like grown vibes. It's very musky. It's very strong. The rose in here is very, very potent. So you have to be a rose lover. And I love rose. I love like all types of rose. So for me, it really does work. I just, I don't know why I don't wear it more, but when I wear it, people all the time are like, you smell so pretty. So I would highly suggest it. And it really is a beautiful compliment getter. So once again, this is You're The One. Next up, we have one from Victoria's Secret. Actually, there's two here. I'm just gonna talk about both of them because both of them really do get me like the same amount of compliments. And these are the Bare Vanillas. The original Bare Vanilla, I didn't pull it out the closet, but that one also is a amazing compliment getter because it just smells really nice, y'all. I couldn't pick which one between these two, but y'all, if you have any of the Bare Vanillas, they all will get you some compliments. So this one is Bare Vanilla Golden, and this one has notes of Sugar Tonka and Orchid Blossom. And in Bare Vanilla Luxe, you have notes of Rich Marshmallow and Vanilla Cashmere. This kind of reminds me of like some type of like chocolate brittle. Like, you know how like you eat some type of like brittles or like some type of candy bars and they have like this like golden thick ooey gooeyness to them? That's kind of what this one reminds me of, if that makes any sense. But yeah, Golden Bare Vanilla is so pretty. But then when it comes to Bare Vanilla Lux, which I think is my favorite, but I'm not sure yet. I like them all. This one's more creamy, it's fluffier, very sweet, but has more of like a smoothness to it because of the marshmallow. They're both really good. They're both really good. And this one gets me a ton of compliments in the winter time. And this one is just really good for right now. But either way, you can't go wrong with any of the Bare Vanillas if you're looking for a compliment. So once again, <laughs> this is Bare Vanilla Luxe and this is Bare Vanilla Golden. All right, now we're getting into the Gourmand fragrances. So for the first one, let's start off with one that I can't shut up about. And I know y'all sick of me talking about this one too. <laughs> but this one is Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works, y'all. <coughs> so in this one, you have notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. Oh, y'all, mm -hmm. this is thick and decadent and rich and, oh my gosh, and pound cake, y'all. So if you have anybody around you that likes super sweet things and you wear this around them, immediately they're gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> because it smells very literal to a pound cake. So body mists like these are just so fun to wear because you're gonna walk around smelling like a pastry and dessert, right? So it's really hard not for people to notice these on you because they're not like your typical, you know, like perfumey fragrances. And also with these types of body mists, you really do have to appreciate smelling like a literal pastry. Like if you don't like gourmands that literally smell like what you're eating, then this is gonna be way too much for you because it's super thick, it's super potent. So if that's not your thing, then this is not gonna be your thing. But for me, smelling edible has always been my thing, so I can't get enough of it and I can't shut up about it either. And for this one, I love pairing it with Roses Vanille from Mansara because there's like this lemon note in Roses Vanille. So actually adding like a lemon body mist that smells like pound cake as well, y'all, that combination is so nice. And as I'm smelling this cap, I did a video showing you guys that layering combination and the cap still smells like this mixed with Roses Vanille and I just wanna, I just wanna eat it. So once again, this is Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. And staying on that edible note, the next one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, you guys. And you really do have to be in the mood for this one as well. It's like you get the syrup, you get the butter. I don't really get that much pumpkin in here, which is nice, but this one is amazing, you guys. 
So this one has notes of maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. And I mostly like to wear this one like closer to like Thanksgiving or like in winter more so because it makes me just feel very cozy and snuggly and like it makes me want to bake like a whole pie or something. I'm actually kind of shocked that this one gets the attention that it does when I wear it because I would think that this would be like a little obnoxious and just like <laughs> people would be like what's going on but I think because of that that makes people curious to know what you're wearing but if you love you a good gourmand you are a true like smell like waffles type of gal or guy then you will love you some pumpkin pecan waffles and you will love all the compliments that comes along with it as well and last but not least we have the ultimate gourmand on the list and this is strawberry pound cake you guys so this one it took me a minute to come along to this one i thought that this was just like such an obnoxious fragrance when I first smelled it like a couple years ago. I just couldn't get with it. Back then, I liked burning candles that smelled like this, but I didn't want to smell like my pumpkin pecan waffles. I didn't want to smell like my ice cream pound cake. And then something happened, and now I just want to smell like all the pastries in the bakery shop, y'all. So strawberry pound cake has notes of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And y'all, it's the whipped cream note in here for me. And I know it's called strawberry pound cake, but to me, it smells like more of like a strawberry cheesecake. Like, you know how like the strawberry cheesecake has that like glazed strawberries on top and it's like dripping down the cheesecake and like the crust of the cheesecake is like a graham cracker. All of those notes combined is what this smells like to me. It's just a ooey gooey piece of strawberry cheesecake. And people love this fragrance when I wear it. It's such a fun one to get a compliment on because you tell them it's like strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works and people kind of give you this like, kind of like deer in headlights kind of look. Like if they've never heard about it, they're like, wait, what? Like it's really funny for me at least to explain this one to people. So once again, this is strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works and it's another classic that they always bring back every single year. All right, you guys, and that is it for my top complimented body mist. So I hope that you guys saw some goodies on here. I hope y'all have the majority of these so y'all can be rocking them. And I'm curious to know, what are some of you guys' top complimented body mist? Drop it down below in the comments. You know we are all nosy. We are all going to be up in those comments and wanting to know. So we can all be out here just getting all of the compliments. <laughs> if you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you a part of the family. And until next time, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.